What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog here from the south. And, well, we are not in Florida today. No, we are in nearby Jekyll Island, Georgia. And today, you guys, we are on the hunt for something very unusual, very historically awesome. And I'm sorry, when I first read about it, I was like, that is super cool. And we might find it. And I think, I think actually we have. Let me show you all these. Here in the Jekyll Island undergrowth, we have two cannon emplacements from, of course, the one and only, the short-lived Spanish-American War. You see, back during the days of Theodore Roosevelt, the Rough Riders, the Remember the Maine, Jekyll Island was a home for the rich, your wealthy, your, your upper class, if you will. If you want to know something cool, this is where the Federal Reserve was founded, here on Jekyll Island. But during the Spanish-American War, they, at the request of the island, put up cannons on the southern end of the island. Now, these cannons never saw any action. In fact, they very much were used for practice, warning signs. They were essentially put there as a form of protection and intimidation just in case if Spain tried to come up the southern coast and attack Georgia. Well, roll on to 1900. The cannons were brought off land into the forest. They were dumped off here. The cannons were removed here in the description below. I will show you all what these things look like. Some of these things were really, really gigantic. So imagine on the southern end of the island, watching, waiting for essentially an attack coming from the enemy that never came. In fact, the Spanish-American War was very much short-lived. And as you see these two out here, there were actually eight of them. A few of them sunk into the very soft Georgia sand. They don't know where they're at. They do, however, know where these were at and how these were found. They were found accidentally while on a geographic mapping of the island. It, honestly, I think it came on as a little bit of a surprise to the people of this area. Well, not the people of this area, not the locals. The, ge the, the geographers that were working on the maps, I imagine they were like, what is this doing out here? It's an amazing piece of history, you guys, and I thought this would be a perfect way to start the, well, vlog. It's a really awesome piece of history. I mean, can you only imagine the guns, the turrets going up and down, side to side, on these amazing pieces of equipment that surprisingly have really held out over time. Just look at the concrete. And you know it's, it's, it's been out here for a while because you have, what type of tree is that? Red cedar. There we go. You have red cedar growing out of the ground. Who knows, you guys? Maybe today we will find the others that are missing. You know, I kind of wonder if maybe they move. Maybe not. No, those things are, those things are pretty much welded shut. But still, still. I actually did a little bit of research on this. There was a YouTuber I follow that found it. It took him a while to find it. Um, 
Honestly, you could probably find it on GPS, but it's a little bit hard to track down. But honestly, you guys, this is amazing. You know, you might not think it too much other than a step, but you could only imagine what soldiers had to get on that while firing this thing. While, while there was still a, a cannon attached to it. I mean, just think like how many miles these cannons could fire off from the distance and these, in, in, uh, and these things just handle the sheer immense power of those guns. It's, it's a little bit much if you think about it. So yeah. Today we are here on Jekyll Island. Like I said, I'm very excited that we found these today. So you guys, I think we are going to head to a nearby park, which is also amazing, that y'all need to see, especially since it is Black History Month. So you guys, let's get to it. All right, you guys, I'm on my, my way back to my truck. Yes, those cannon emplacements were awesome. Something you don't see every day and a lot of history. Although I think that they were found sometime in the 1950s, I believe, or the 60s. Um, in the comments below, let me know if I got anything wrong because um, I think I got my history right, I do believe. But you guys, we're gonna go on another stop. It's really, really cool, especially, as I was saying, it fits well with Black History Month. But you guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. It will keep you in the loop on my daily life here in the South, my adventures, my misadventures, all that good stuff. So you guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. It shows and it means that you all care and it means a lot to me. So. Love you all very much. Peace, guys.